Hey guys, um, this is Godric, and I would like to show you two different kinds of budget system. Um, before we start, let's do some um, let's do some fake budgeting. So let's say you earn five hundred dollars. Let's say four hundred dollars a month. I mean a week. This is weekly. And let's say you pay a rent for five hundred a month. And let's say you pay for your um, say for your car. Uh, let's say you pay four hundred a month. And let's say entertainment. Credit card, pay thirty bucks a month, and credit card two, thirty bucks a month. Okay, let's see. I'm sorry if you cannot see that. Let's make it bigger. There we go. All right. Um, okay. All right. Let's just say. There's more, but we're not going to put it here to make it simpler. So, there's two kinds of, well, there is one famous system for budgeting. This is the periodical budgeting. So, for periodical budgeting, it's also called a zero-based budget by some people. Uh, so, the zero-based budget, what it means is that if you're earning 400 weekly, that means you need to divide the monthly by 4 to make that weekly for the rent, even though you don't pay weekly, but for the zero base budgeting, you need to do that. So for the car, it's going to be like that. This one is already weekly, so we need to divide that. Now this will change if you get paid uh, every two weeks. So you're going to change that by weekly. So for this one, I have to divide by four weekly. And this one divided by four weekly. All right, so for zero-based uh, budget, what they're saying is that if the sum of your expenses, uh, it must be less than your how much you take in. So it cannot be your salary cannot be lower than your your uh, expenses. Otherwise, you won't be able to budget. But the whole purpose of the zero-based balance is that whatever extra money you have. So this is the total. Uh, this is the total weekly expenses. So whatever the balance, I mean whatever the uh, leftover, which is hundred thirty dollars, will be used for uh, paying up loans or credit cards or or anything that needs to be gone from your um, from your expenses. I don't agree with that system because the zero-based budget wanted you to take out of your loans right away. You don't want to do that because loans and balances from your credit cards help with your credit score. And credit score is uh, so you can borrow more money in the future, which you would, because so, uh, especially here in the United States, you have to borrow money to survive. So. You want to owe money, and you want to keep it up, owing money, but you don't want to pay it off. You you don't want to close that account. If you do want to pay it off, what my what the loan officer told me um, is that you don't want to close it. So you want to keep the account open, even though you pay it off. But 
for his advice to me is don't pay pay it off leave some money show some some transactions some flow of the money in the uh the credit card and keep it up that the way it is and make it lower than 30 percent or 20 percent i believe to get your credit score higher so the zero balance budget is already against that uh, principle of getting a, a high credit score so so that's why i don't do this this is the uh, zero base uh, budget that is uh, also called by others as a periodical where they could just lay down all the expenses and then and then just do a add and subtraction and they're done with the budget maybe for the whole month maybe for the whole week that's how they do it i do it differently i don't do that i do things more confusing but it's helpful so in my system there's expenses there's a date costs and there's the uh, okay there's a cost and the bank uh, well let's just call this total and then the bank so there are one two three four five variables uh, five variables to create the budget that I use um, so that's what I'm going to show you. It's going to be complicated a little bit because you, this is why it is complicated because you have to um, show more than one month. For this example, we're going to do six months. So let's say your next payday is on the 17th. So from there, you need to do the other five months. So that's and then you just change that to, uh, you gotta do it manually. 517, 617, 817, 917. Alright, so that's your six months salary schedule. And it's supposed to earn 400. In here, let's say you have 200 in the bank. And we're not gonna worry about that yet. So let's just do this. Let's make that all centered and let's copy this one and then we do the rent let's say the next rent is going to be on May 1st and that's minus 500 we need to put a negative sign there due to the fact that it's an expense so it's going to be 2 one, seven one. Up May, June, July, August, September, October. Okay. Okay, this one is wrong. The salary is not per month, it's per week. Alright, guys, I already messed up. Okay. It's simple to fix it because all you gotta do is plus seven to that. Okay, whatever that is. Then you just copy and paste. So, so it's April, May, June, July, August, September. So you're doing all the way down to September. Um, so this will be in September. There you go. That's why I say it's confusing it's because you have to do all this work. But once you laid it down, that's all you needed, and you're pretty much settled. Now whenever you do a formula for the date, you might want to copy and paste that as the values. So the formula will be gone and it will show you the actual date. So that's for the salary. And then we do the, uh, what was the next one? Rent. So make first for the first one is minus 500. Yeah. So the rent is really here, six one. Now this this is actually my second video and I messed up on the first video because 
I found out the program that I was using was not recording the whole thing and I was talking and showing all this and I, I had so much preparation on it I actually had everything written down and I deleted everything I thought everything was recorded and then I realized it, it didn't record it and all of the thing that I did was already gone so right, June, July, August so that's why you're gonna bear with me since you're watching a video you can actually fast forward this Oh, so there's no trouble in your end. Uh, August, oh my gosh, I'm messing up on the, the months. Okay. Wait, September's the last one. Okay, so. Hmm, I can't read only have five months. But that's okay, we're only doing until September. And the next one is car. So, pretty much we got to copy all of this. Does anybody, I'm sorry, just this one. It's already set up. Then you just gonna pick car. And you're paying uh, how much? Four hundred. So minus four hundred. But let's say you don't pay it on. You don't pay it on the first. You pay it on. Let's say the twenty fifth. So all you gotta do is change. Uh, let me make like that. One, two, oh my goodness, okay, mm, I was at 25, replace all, so now you change it all to 25, then the next one, is yes, pretty much you're going to do this for each one, so this might discourage you to do what I'm doing, but I'll show you later why is this way better than the, uh, the zero base budget now this is minus 30 what's that weekly okay that's weekly so we're gonna go ahead and copy this instead no not really i'm gonna make it on date so let's say the next time you do your let's let's say you want to do your entertainment expenses every saturday which is going to be april 18 it's the next month so you're gonna put 18 then you just add plus seven like this and drag it again all the way down to the end of September. Okay, that's one over one over. Let's delete that. Now you just uh, copy all of this and paste it as the values so you, all the formula is gone. Then you just copy this. And then you copy the next one. All right, how many more to go? Okay, credit one and then credit two. Okay, so the credit, credit card one, let's say you pay that one every 14th month. Basically, basically just copy this one, way past do that. And then just change to the, the 25th to, 25th to 14th. Place all, look good, close, got to all that, all this, and then credit card two, let's copy all of that, let's say you pay the next, let's say you pay the credit card two every 26th, let's say 26th, all right. Okay, I messed up. I'm replacing 14 to 26. All right, so after you replace that, so, so far this is all your budget for the whole six months or all the way up to September. Now all you gotta do is sort it by date. Then there you go, that's your budget for the whole. Uh, now in here, let's say you have $100 in the bank and all you gotta do is add that money in the back currently plus this then the next line will be this plus that then you just copy the whole thing go to the very bottom and you paste that and then you can do a uh, bottom 10 but make it uh, one then click ok 
So in here you could tell the minimum that you'll have is 470. Now, in reality, they're going to be more less because you have more expenses. So let's change the uh, the salary to let's change salary to 300. Okay. And then let's sort it again. All right. That's uh, the lowest you have until September is 140. Okay. Let's say you don't have 100. Let's say you have nothing in the bank. All right. So what is the benefit of this uh, setup rather than the one on zero base balance? Well, on the zero base balance, you only have a uh, few information. Uh, the periodic stuff that's all you got that one period is all you got and it's mis misleading you to believe that you have 130 dollars extra uh, remember we added all of this uh, change this to weekly and then add them all up it will become 270 i believe uh, and then we subtract it and then we got uh, 130 dollars uh, but since i changed this to 300 actually you only have you have $30 extra and I said in zero based budget you use that to to pay up uh, other loans or credit cards that you have and if you do it this way you don't want to do that because in here you will see that the minimum balance that you will have in your bank is going to be on May 1st and it's going to be $40 so this is two weeks all the way down to May 1 let me see those two weeks right yeah you got two weeks and if you spend that extra thirty dollars for two weeks you're actually spending you're actually gonna have uh, it's gonna be 60 minus 40 you're gonna have less than twenty dollars in your bank you're gonna owe your bank twenty dollars if you do that so that's why you don't do the zero base balance because it's misleading it will show you one period it looks like it's all good that you could spend this this uh, thirty dollars for your uh, other cologne or other credit cards but if you do it by using the flow of the money from your bank based on the date because this system this setup that i have has the date and has the bank value you'll be able to tell when will you have when will you have the minimum balance and how much it will be and when will it be when it will be so so in here according to uh, this example you're gonna have may 1st you're gonna have 40 dollars 40 dollars less which is more accurate than the zero base uh budget that you had a while ago that's showing you have thirty dollars uh, extra for every period of your budget which is wrong misleading don't use that everybody's using that everybody losing money and they don't know how did that happen because they're not they're not checking it by by the flow of the money from the bank they're checking it by periods by by this i'll get money by one week or by two weeks and I already laid down how much I'll have for that, and I know I'll have extra thirty dollars by the end of my uh, by the time I got my paycheck. That's wrong, because if you actually put the dates on those expenses, you would know your minimum for the bank will be less than the, than you expected. So I don't use that. So this is why this is the core the core setup of my budgeting is the way it was set up. It's not set up the way by period, but it was set up by the flow of the money from the bank. Now, the one I have currently is uh, with my own budget. Is I, I made it uh, two years or three years because uh, I had enough money to stretch my budgeting and see how my money goes down. It doesn't matter how much you have in your bank. It would rather go down or it would go up. Mine is going down because I'm not earning enough to pay up all my bills, especially my student loans is coming up. So that's why this kind of setup is very helpful to, uh, helpful to me because I could see what would happen in the future. But with the budget system used by others, it doesn't show you that information and it's misleading. So I don't use that. So uh, as your Facebook friend, I would like to uh, inform you, um, I would like to share this little knowledge that is helping me a lot 
I try to explain this to other people and uh, I guess I need to do it this way for them to see what's going on. That is very helpful to do it this way, doing the flow thing, the flow of your money from your bank. Alrighty, that's all I gotta say. Well, actually this is all uh, opinion based, so if this doesn't work for you, then don't do it. But I'm just saying, this is much better based on the, it has more information. It is, uh, it's, uh, it's based on the time and date, so it's more accurate. Uh, it is more, it's going to be more accurate if you have it more than one year, more than five years, six years, ten years, uh, in my opinion, because, uh, well, not really my opinion, but that's the fact. That's what really happens when you stretch out the uh, budgeting more than one month, more than one period. Alrighty, well, uh, thank you everyone for watching and have a good day.